So up until now, we've only been dealing with code that executes once. So if I were to ask any of you to print the numbers 1 to 100 for me, the only way that all of you would know how to do that is by writing out 100 separate print lint statements with the numbers 1 to 100. And since we're going to implement a lot of repetitive processes in this course, it's a bit impractical to write hundreds of lines of code for something so simple. So a great way to execute code repeatedly is by using the for loop. We start a for loop with the keyword for, and then we have a set of parentheses, and then we have curly braces enclosing the code that we want to execute repeatedly. Now since we want to execute this code for however many times we want, we're going to need a way to tell the for loop where to start and when to stop. So first we're going to initialize something. We're going to make a test. And then we're going to make something that will update what we initialized. Now we're going to initialize a variable inside these parentheses. I've initialized an int for convention. We usually call it i, and I set it equal to 1. And we're going to use this variable to help us control the for loop. Next, for our test, I'm going to make our test i is less than or equal to 100. And I'm going to make our update increment i by 1. So when this for loop first starts running, It'll initialize our int i once, and then for the rest of the iterations, and including the first one, we're first going to check to see if this test passes. So we're going to check if i is less than or equal to 100. If that's the case, we're going to execute this code, and then we're going to update i in the way that we've designed it to be updated, and then we're going to continue the process until we fail this test. Now the cool thing about i is that we can use it as though it were a variable we defined within these curly braces. So let's see what happens if I print i. So when i equals 1, we check to see if i passes our test. It's initialized to 1. So if, we, if it passes our test right away, then we're going to go into the for loop. So it does pass. We're going to print. We're going to print 1, because that's what i is. Now i equals 2. Now we're going to check again. Is 2 less than 100 or equal to 100? 